remember I was telling you about, uh, well, I'm telling you, reading this book, right? Well, it's like a reference book now to I me. Mean, it's through October. I just be breezing through it. I got to take some train rides. So it's, you know, it's like big letters, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like that. But, you know, um, it's, he's doing the beginning of the book. He was doing a whole case study on the uh, on Georgia and this guy Kemp. Don't matter what they do. It don't matter what people's names are. They're all the same. You know what I mean? And, you know, he's talking about, we were talking about, say we, I mean, you and I, we, we study in this book together. Right? We, uh, but, for instance, you have all these things, ways to kick people off the ballot. Right? I'm just saying, take my drink water in the morning, you know. Actually, I drink water all night long in the morning. Um like for instance, here's the here's the, the U.S. Election uh, Assistance Commission states the U.S. Elections Assistance Commission. Who knew they had such a thing? Within the implement imp, within the implement within the implementation of the NVRA, that's the National Voter uh, Registration Act in 1994. That's Bill Clinton's time, isn't it? Mm-hmm. States are required to have evidence that a citizen is no longer living in the jurisdiction where they were registered before removing him or her from the registration rolls. Okay, then he goes to this whole thing about people being removed, you know, all kinds of things, you know. Um, uh, how do you get removed real easy? Like, like for instance, uh, Kemp, uh, 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 this guy, Kemp, he, he ignored a whole bunch of regulations. He can show you, but I mean, uh, uh, so how did uh, so how did Kemp know uh, you move and moved out of the uh, out of the county? The answer he didn't. Uh, uh, hold on a second. You don't vote in two elections. Oh, he did it because person didn't vote in two elections. So this arbitrary, you know that kind of thing. So anyway, so, so I've been reading through this book, but then I found something on you know the little the feed that Google gives you, whatever it is. And it says the headline. I might read this whole thing. Too. People could lose their vote in no, on November third. Uh, that's the best case scenario. Okay, what's, what's the name? Of this? Oh, this is from USA Today article. Okay, and this is uh, a bunch of people. Pat Brial of USA Today, and then they use a whole bunch of people like uh, I just think Catherine, uh, Jackie, Elizabeth, and Asim. They're all, uh, oh, the uh, Columbia Journalism Investigation. Okay. Excuse me, it's morning. In the morning, I always have some. Don't worry about it. Remember, Greg Palace is an investigative reporter. Now, you have all these people in the Columbia Journalism, whatever it is, right? That means that more than likely, they, you know, they were Greg's tip. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. In a normal election year, in any given uh, state, hundreds or even thousands of absentee ballots are tossed for everything from late postmarks to, to open envelopes. Okay, I won't go into it, but it's called about North Carolina and Virginia and blah, 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 blah. Absentee ballot rejections this November are projected to reach historic levels, risking widespread disenfranchisement of minority voters and the credibility of election results. A USA Today Columbia Journalism investigation and PBS series Frontline investigation found that they have this picture of a big old, I guess, little, see a big old pallet of, of ballots and stuff like that. You see that? Big old pallet of ballots. A pallet of ballots. Hey, poet, poet in the morning, poetry in the morning. It's good for you. Okay. And then, you know, they go on to say, you know, like, uh, forklift operator or uh, those absentee ballots for mailing. On September third, uh, twenty twenty, uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, they say at least one point three million absentee ballots could be tossed if half of the nation votes by mail. Now, you know, during COVID, a lot of people are going to be voting by mail. So, this what, what, what's what's basically what's happening. Let me just cut to the chase here. I'm just trying to say it's all over the place now. People are getting hip. You know, I never read something about Nevada. Something's happening in Nevada. All kinds of stuff. But every state has their little thing. And you know, them uh, them coke boys and the people like that. You know, they they've been dabbling for a long time, getting away from stuff for a long time. When you get away from stuff for a long time, then you think, hey, I can get away with it. You know how that goes. Come on, now. you know how that goes. Anyway, um, so with all these little things happen, da, 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 
absentee. Da, da, da. Here's what interests me, though, because I was talking to somebody else about this. Hold on a second. I blow my nose here. I believe in snot rags. Throw them in the wash, you know, the little clinics. You know, okay. Okay. So here's the deal. When Trump, everybody don't know why people don't understand that Trump is smarter than you realize. When Trump said, you know, do your mail and do your mail and balance, but show up to the polls, right? Remember, a lot of his people in the rural areas, so they have just they have distancing is easier, you know, blah, 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 blah. We won't get into all that right now. But here's the thing, you know, that's a smart move because that means his troops will be out there, you know, at least at the polling places. So, you know, they can they can do their bullying thing or whatever they can do. See what I'm saying? So all I'm trying to say, this boy is more strategic than you do. And plus it souls what we call confusion. Well, no, we call it Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., uh, he calls it confusion. The more confusion you have, the more the racist white supremacists get their way. That's just the way it is. We're in America. You better understand this, you know. <coughs> Ooh, I coughed. And I <coughs> coughed into my hand. Do you know there's some viral thing going on right now with Joe Biden coughing into his hand? And that is over. I don't, what, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, this is hilarious. Election season. I'm personally, you know what I mean, because I know what I'm doing. Because I love to vote. And me writing in is wonderful. So I'll be writing in, you know, www.producejustice.com is one of my things. And, you know, if I, if I look around, I might write in www.ados101.com. One of the two, both of them, you know, alternating, whatever it is. Especially, I got to vote in Virginia. I better find out. Now, Virginia is one of those swing states now. I don't know what's going to be red, blue, what, but it doesn't matter because I'm not voting up top anyway. Why? The popular vote, Right. Whoever, whoever is, if it's, it's, if it's the drunk guy or if it's the, you know, the bitumen, bitumen auction block guy, it don't matter to me, right? I just want them not to get the popular vote because the stuff is rigged anyway. You know, electoral college, you know what I mean? That means that the big boys did, you know, I call them boys because that's what they are. They got handmaids now, though. The boys got handmaids ahead. They put handmaids on the court and they were up. Oh, <laughs> This country, this country, I love America. <laughs> I mean, me, T from the Patterson, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I definitely suspect. <laughs>